I will show you how to do the shunt mod and make your scooter do 30 miles an hour. Dude, this thing absolutely moves. We just hit 32, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're going to be doing the shunt mod. Um, I upgraded my scooter to do 30 miles an hour from 350 watts with the ultimate speed hack. I'm about to show you the secret way to get your scooter zooming like a madman. speed hack, you must get hold of your speed controller. So first off, my scooter be too slow. 350 watts, 15 miles an hour. We're gonna change that. First, you gotta find the three screws on the side of your controller like so. These guys right here, I've gone ahead and removed uno, dos, I just gotta do tres, I man. Know, I, I don't know what accent I'm using. Together. Speed act. We call this the shunt mod. So yeah, I keep turning round and round, 360 degrees, till the screw falls off. All right, get all these three out, and then we need to go to the wiring side, okay? Where the wires are, we need to remove the one, two, three, four screws on the corners right here, baby. We're gonna remove them. So, to not get you bored, there's actually five. To not get you bored, I've removed most of them. One more to go, let's get it. 95 degrees, hey, got the e bike here with me. Hey, I don't need no car, hey, keep your leather seats, hey. So, as you just witnessed, you then slide this baby out, and now we can do our shunt mod bay in rusty trust i love these trusty rusty screwdrivers man anyway now that we have our speed controller split open i'm gonna use my trusty rusty screwdriver as a pointer man we're looking for this guy right here dog i know i'm calling you dog because you are you're a big dog my dog man for watching this thank you man for watching if you're not subscribed subscribe like and all of that yeah but i'm gonna show you the shunt mod right here so we're going down here see this staple it looks like a staple right you know the, the clickety clickety stationary staple i use for crafting the arts and craft it looks like this guy right here we want to make this thicker okay we need to make this thicker why so we can put more how can i simplify it more electricity to travel through this bit okay from one part to the other part more electricity must travel through here why because that's going to supply more electric power to our front wheel or back wheel or whatever our hub motors mounted to. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? More electricity gives us more power. Okay, so let's make this thicker. As thick as one of these thick as wires, boy. Let's get How it. How do you make this thicker, man? Well, it's simple. You get yourself some solder, okay? So hold on. And a solder gun, okay? Once you got them two things right here, you just need to solder some some metal onto this basically make it thicker man you can also do it from the back side right and boy mm -hmm. right from there to there you can make a connection so now that guy is thick on the back side i've added extra solder to all these connections now you're thinking bro why should i listen to you man why should I even do that to my controller? By the way, the link to this controller is in the description. Yeah. To hit like on this video and subscribe if not subscribe, man. Because we're about to take this thing out on a mad adventure, bro. We're gonna ride it till it breaks. Ride right or die, remember? Yeah, righty tighty to pull back all your screws. Lefty loosey to take off all your screws. Anyway, once it's back on, man, you plug all your things back on and you take this thing for a rip. ASMR for you, man. Do you like that? Whether you like that or not, we need to test the shunt mod on our electric scooter speed controller and see if it actually lasts or works at all. Maybe even blow up in our faces. Test ride time. And I'm guessing this thing here should send us and take us to the moon, son. Woo, there she goes. Woo, <laughs> she's powerful. <laughs> Again. <laughs> We got pneumatic tires over here, uh, 12 inch pneumatic tires, so never get punches. But on the downside is, when we're wet, we're super, super slippery. Let's just go through here. Right, when we're wet, we get quite slippery, my guys. This thing here is lethal, especially in this type of... Comment down below what you call it. Anyway, super slippery, pneumatic tires. I'm being stupid, going left, right. Oh, I'm asking for it. I'm gonna lose some teeth today, boy. Anyway, we're sending it, we're moving, and we are doing 31 miles an hour, boy, and sending it towards the cyclist. 
That it's up that shit 32 miles an hour man. Dude this thing absolutely moves my guy 30 31 32 We just hit 32 baby come on Yeah And this is the easy wheel 350 watts or is it 500 watts but either way I upgraded the controller in this one Woo! We just hit some hay How did I upgrade the controller? I did not fit a new controller or anything like that No I done what you call the shunt mod which, which kind of doubles its power in a way to me it feels like it's double the power guys this thing is a flying 32 miles an hour brake check brake check I've only got the electronic brake so my manual brake actually does not work and let's send it back down this way same place we sent the others no editing, one hand off. This one's even more wobbly. Oh my god, because it's doing higher speeds. There we go, sitting at 30, 31, 31 miles an hour, people. This thing is a beast. Way faster than the easy, uh, way faster than the ice scooter I ate. Woo! But the brakes are so cracked. As you can see, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. <laughs> I am time on this. I'm not stopping. <laughs> Yo, this thing right here is a depth trap, right? I'm pressing the brakes. Oh, the camera way. sign over there. So it took me all that way just to stop. If I was on the road, man would be what? Excise, deader. You know them ones. But anyways, we're going to take it back because man's got a school run to do. Right, Yo, Rasta on the bike, YouTube. That brakes do not work. <laughs> Y'all heard that right? 